Hi, I'm Chris Kennedy, your Orlando Realtor. Orlando is one of the biggest and best cities in all of Florida. I moved here in 2005 from New Orleans. I've also lived in New York City, South Florida, Tampa, and Orlando is still one of my favorite places to live. If you're watching this video, it's likely because you're considering a move to Orlando. And if you're unfamiliar with the area, you're probably realizing that Orlando is quite expansive. It may even be overwhelming for you to figure out where to begin your home search. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the major, most popular, best areas in Orlando for you to consider. We're gonna look at the price ranges, location, and the lifestyle for each. And this is gonna give you a really good idea of where to begin your home search. Let's go take a look. Let's first take a look at downtown Orlando. Living in downtown Orlando is extremely convenient and has lots of lifestyle options. There are luxury high-rise and low-rise condominiums. There are historic single-family craftsman-style homes and occasional new construction homes as well. When living in or near downtown Orlando, you'll be walking distance to many local restaurants, exciting nightlife, plenty of businesses, and much more. Lake Eola Park has a nice walking path lined with sculptures that will give you a taste of Orlando's vibrant art culture. A few of the closest walkable neighborhoods to downtown Orlando include Lake Eola Heights, Thornton Park, and Delaney Park. Traveling to and from the downtown Orlando area is fast and easy since two major highways, Interstate 4 and State Road 408, both run nearby. The condo sale prices average about $300,000 while the single family homes average about 500. The location, the affordability, and the walkability help put downtown Orlando on this list of the most popular neighborhoods. Now let's take a look at our next area, Winter Park. Winter Park is one of the most unique and established areas in Central Florida. Winter Park is actually its own city and located just a few miles north of downtown Orlando. The diversity of homes can range from lakefront estates to modern new construction to historic craftsman style bungalows. The single family home prices here average about 600,000 while the new construction is averaging about 850,000 or $275 per square foot at the time of this video. If you live in or near Winter Park, then Park Avenue will quickly become one of your go-to places to visit. Park Avenue boasts unique restaurants, great shopping, and a nice central park where art festivals and farmer markets are held. The Winter Park Golf Course is one of the few nicer public golf courses in Orlando. Winter Park is home to the respected Rollins College and many of the public schools are highly rated as well. Winter Park truly has a little something for everyone and is one of the nicest places to live in not just Orlando, but in all of Florida. Next on this list is Winter Park's neighbor, College Park. College Park is one of Orlando's oldest neighborhoods, initially developed during the early 1900s around Dubstred, an 18-hole public golf course that is lined with old and new homes. Like many established areas near downtown Orlando, College Park has been undergoing a renaissance as smaller homes are being replaced with new construction, typically larger two-story houses. Located just a few minutes from downtown, with easy access to Interstate 4, College Park has its own shopping and dining district that is within easy walking and biking distance for most residents. There is a wide variety of housing options from two bedroom, one bath bungalows, to condominiums, to spacious four and five bedroom houses. People love living here because of the close proximity to major attractions, affordability, and the highly rated schools. If you do prefer neighborhoods with a bit more consistency in the home styles, then you want to see our next neighborhood, Baldwin Park. Baldwin Park is a redeveloped, planned community that is known for its amenities, convenient location, and picturesque charm. This community borders Winter Park and is only a 20-minute drive to Orlando International Airport. Formerly a military base, Baldwin Park features single-family homes and townhomes that range in price from the mid-200s to about $3 million. 
The homeowner associations and taxes are very reasonable for the value. Baldwin Park is one of the most unique planned communities because it was designed to mimic more historic Orlando neighborhoods such as College Park, where many of the homes are craftsman style with small garages or with small second floor garage apartments. While most of the homes were constructed in 2005 or 2007, the community planners successfully avoided this cookie cutter feel that you find in many newer planned communities. You will find almost everything you need in Baldwin Park from grocery stores, schools, unique dining options, fitness facilities, and more. Baldwin Park is exceedingly walkable and bikeable. There are two public swimming pools, a small community gym, and a two and a half mile bike pedestrian path that encircles Lake Baldwin, where the main street through the downtown takes you to this beautiful area. Another fantastic planned community is Lake Nona, our next location. Welcome to Lake Nona. This is one of the fastest growing and best places to live in all of Central Florida. Let's go ahead and take a look. Lake Nona is a master planned community of some 7,000 acres just to the east of Orlando International Airport. Lake Nona's roots go back to the 1980s. It has grown exponentially over the years spawning a variety of neighborhoods along with three well-regarded golf courses. When it comes to homes, there is something for everyone, be it single-family homes to estate properties to condos and apartments. Named after a large lake on its northern edge, Lake Nona also has been building an employment base, most prominently the Lake Nona Medical City, a 650-acre health and life sciences campus. The United States Tennis Association has also relocated its national campus to Lake Nona in 2017. This community was planned from the start for active, healthy lifestyles with golf courses, country clubs, and bike and walking paths. Lake Nona has worked hard to create a place where there is plenty to keep residents occupied. Home prices range from the 200,000s for resales and go well into the millions. There is plenty of opportunity to secure new construction homes here in Lake Nona. If you like the idea of living on or near Lake, then you really want to see the next area, Windermere. Windermere is the town known for luxury, lakefront, and golf course living. Windermere is located about 10 miles north of Disney and 12 miles west of downtown Orlando. The Isleworth Golf and Country Club is one of Windermere's most well-known properties. Various professional athletes and business execs will play there. Some of the largest estates in Central Florida are found in Windermere. Nearby is the Bay Hill Golf and Country Club where the PGA holds their annual Arnold Palmer Classic. There is a quaint town square in Windermere with a small handful of local restaurants and shops. If you're looking for more to do in the neighborhood, then you can find plenty of great options at Restaurant Row on Sand Lake Road, which is only a short drive away. Lake Butler and the Chain of Lakes weave throughout Windermere and offer a fantastic boating experience, as well as some of the best lakefront living you'll find in Florida. Windermere also hosts a weekly farmer's market along with a food truck night every fourth Friday of the month in the town square. Some of the neighboring areas to Windermere include Dr. Phillips and Bay Hill. Home prices on the Windermere chain of lakes can start at just over 1 million and can go way up in price, such as the former NBA star Shaquille O'Neal's home, which is listed at 19.5 million. If you're looking for a large, relatively newer estate with lakefront living opportunities, then Windermere is certainly worth considering. Located just north of Windermere is our next area, Winter Garden. Here we are in one of the fastest growing places in all of Central Florida. Winter Garden has really grown since the 1990s and early 2000s and is a really cool town to check out. Let's go ahead and take a look. There are mostly single-family homes in Winter Garden, with plenty of new construction homes available. Many of the homes were built in the 1990s to early 2000s. However, you can find homes that were built in the 1940s and 50s, 
and everything in between. Winter Garden can be an occasional destination to visit for locals from other parts of Central Florida. Centennial Plaza area has a quaint downtown with lots of local shops and restaurants. Lake Apopka, one of the largest lakes in Florida, is just north of Winter Garden. Lakefront homes average about 950,000, while single family homes not on the water average about 425. The West Orange Trail runs through Winter Garden's quaint downtown. It's a 22 mile long bike pedestrian only trail. And after a nice ride, you can grab a pint or something to eat at the local Crooked Can Brewery or Plant Street Market on the western edge of downtown Winter Garden. There are other really nice communities in Orlando that are not on this video, but they will be on our next video. Subscribe and you'll be notified when it is available. Make sure you do check it out. If you would like to see even more information on these communities, then check out my website, orlandochris.com. There's a ton of information for each of the communities as well as all of the listings for sale. If you're considering a move to Orlando, then reach out to me directly. I'd be honored to be your realtor. All of my contact information is in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found it helpful and I look forward to seeing you guys on my next videos.